and the health care for children was assigned a much lower priority. Do we have a doctor here uh, with us? I think you may have just painted. Dr. Thomas is right here. Come on, let, let Dr. Thomas through there. Actually, go back to. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Sir, can somebody help me? <laughs> You okay? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna sit you down. Gotcha. Can I get a chair? Yeah. Take some more. Welcome to 60 aircraft in FY21 again. So it just. So FY17 is 43. Country that doesn't innovate stagnates. It's that. We have a doctor here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a sad note to end this on. We have a doctor here. It's a shame the man that made all this possible, so I'm sorry to end. I will tell you is there is one issue out there. Oh, God. Despite that awful cost, get him to the ground. Get him to the ground, please. Dayton collapsing during his annual State of the State speech. You see there, his aides rushing in to help him. That was quite a scene. ABC's Lindsey Davis joins us now with more on the story and more importantly, the latest on the governor's condition. Good morning, Lindsey. Good morning, Robin. As you can imagine, this caused quite a bit of panic in the state house chambers last night. The governor of Minnesota was giving his 2017 State of the State of Address when he drank some water, tried to continue on with his speech, and then simply collapsed. A frightening health scare Monday night as the Minnesota governor delivered his state address. After speaking for nearly 45 minutes, Governor Mark Dayton's words started to slur. But despite that awful cost. Seconds later, the governor collapses at the podium. Get him to the ground, get him to the ground, please. Bystanders rush to his aid. Lawmakers his collapse last night. As a result, as a result, as a result. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. U.S. Attorney General Michael Mukasey was about 20 minutes into a speech on terrorism late last night in Washington, D.C., when he began slurring his words, then collapsed. Though it took at least 20 minutes for EMTs to arrive, Mukasey's security detail immediately rushed to his side and started emergency treatment. Tradition und Moderne. Jüngster Beweis ist der Brace. Auch der and I figured that would never happen without the, the uh, preparation we had draining the team. And so I'd like Yeah. No, 
Why, if that's not a little embarrassing. <laughs> but so I don't get people worried standing up here too long. I think what I was going to say, and so I figure I could stand here standing enough. It's a challenge. We thank you for the life and service of Colonel Bennett. First Aviation Brigade has prospered under his leadership, and we have come to value him for his wisdom, his counsel. Things take longer to happen than you think they will, but then they happen much faster than you ever imagined they could. That is the point we are at right now. It has taken time, but now the change is bursting out. There is also a, 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 an extremely important Are you okay? Yes. We got plenty of money to put this country to work. We need a doctor here. This lady fainted in the heat. Let's give her some water. It's hot out here. Is there a doctor here? All right, we got a doctor. There's nothing the rest of you can do, so pay attention to me. You'll just get in the way. Uh, she'll be fine. I, believe me, at my age, it's... Rarely does a lady faint on me. <laughs> Let's give her a hand, though. Bless you. timeline and the best way to we're going to recess for we're going to recess now for a few moments okay. we recess till the call of the chair That's how it works. It's paid for by letting the tax cuts on the wealthiest of Americans expire and by proven cost savings in the health system that everybody agrees are there. It'll work, and it's very important. It's hot up here. Okay. You guys got a question? Anybody here have a question? I urge all yes, victims of this tragedy to go to the FBI website and to register on the victim assistance line. Wait, pause. Is there a doctor here? Call 911. Call. Hold on. Shelly? Health care to free families from the pervasive fear that one illness. There you go. You okay? I'm right here. I got you. 
No, no, you're, you're okay. This happens when I talk too long. <laughs> you're, you'll be okay. Here, why don't you go? Ski on? Come on. Yeah. You found your way to America, or whose parents found your way to America. And we have to say, Barack Obama and Joe Biden are our future. This is our election. This is our country, and we are going to take it back and move it forward. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. So let me, let, let me summarize here. The American Jobs Act will lead to new jobs for construction workers, jobs for teachers, jobs for veterans, jobs for young people, jobs for the unemployed. It will provide tax relief for every worker and small business in America. 